Fetterman Nazi! Opening your eyes to the lies of social justice. What's up, everyone? I'm standing on the side of the street holding up a sign saying, I hate diversity. Okay, that's not actually true. I really just said that as a joke. I just got a bunch of junk email from companies that I thought it was okay to do business with that said, we support diversity. Now, me being a cynical bastard and knowing that diversity is a keyword for something completely different than actual diversity, I opened these emails to see if my suspicions were correct. And wouldn't you know it, they certainly were. They were verified, and I was very unhappy, because these are people that I do business with, as in people I give my money to. They were exploiting their email lists to say that they didn't like something that Trump did. Well, that's stupid. Why are you sending me that? I don't do business with you so that I can be told what to think, or be told that you think our president is a duty head. If I'm going to give someone my money, I don't want to hear all about their political agenda. I'm not interested. I shouldn't have to hear about it. The two companies that did it are IKEA, you know, the Swedish furniture thing, and Teachable, an online platform for online courses. Well, you know what? <laughs> I'm not giving you any more of my money. Because when it boils down to it, what you've done is violate my trust. There is an unwritten social contract when I do business with you. That contract states that business is business. If I'm doing business with you and you want to continue receiving my money, you will keep business professional. When you breach that professional barrier and you start pushing a political agenda, I don't want to give you my money anymore. See, I know that you businesses, I know that you think you're going to somehow broadcast a positive corporate image to people by doing this stuff. I know that you may even believe that you're doing something benevolent, but the truth is you're not. No one cares. Or at least no one with money. Because no matter what you may think about these people who have this progressive message at all costs sort of attitude to the world, they don't have money. They are the product of upper middle class white mommies and daddies that have money. But they don't have the money themselves. Which means you're pandering to people that aren't going to give you jack shit while making other normal people who really don't want politics mixing with the businesses that they are choosing to hand their money over to. You're, you're running them off to satisfy a bunch of bratty college kids that think that it's more important to broadcast an image of virtue than to actually do good things in the world. I don't care what your personal opinions are. I'm doing business with you to do business. I want to give you money in exchange for services or goods that I can use. And if you are providing me with services plus, oh, by the way, uh, here's a political message, or services plus, in order to be a good person, we have to do this, then I don't want to do business with you. I'll take that money and go somewhere else. I invite everyone to follow me elsewhere. Don't support businesses that politicize doing business with them. There is no reason that you should support a business that thinks it's okay to push some sort of political agenda just because you have a business relationship with them. It is exploitation. Last I checked, these are the same kind of people who have a problem with exploiting others, who want to stand up and say, exploitation of other people is bad. Unfortunately, they don't actually practice what they preach. To these people, it's okay to boycott North Carolina because of the HB2 gender discrimination bill, but there's no problem whatsoever pulling out of North Carolina while having headquarters in a Muslim country that will gladly trample the rights of women and transgendered people and all the people that you claim to stand for. I'm leaving. I'm taking my money with me. Other people who don't like politics mixing with the stuff that they do day to day are also going to take their money with them. The people who you're pandering to don't do business with you in the first place. Therefore, you will suffer at your own hands for attempting to look good. And ironically, failing even in that. Because you look like a drooling idiot because you were too stupid to do something as simple as keep your business and your personal feelings separated. That's all she wrote. This is Feminazi. Signing off, and hoping that I don't light myself on fire from all the stupidity that I've had to deal with the past few days. Oh my god. Bye!